Hey Mortal Kombat fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, I just got done watching the Mortal Kombat movie. This is the live action interpretation based on the bloody video games that did get a couple of movies back in the 90s. Cheesy or whatnot, I enjoyed them as a wee little lad. But here we have the modern rebooted treatment with enhanced visual effects. It is definitely something to behold. This will be completely spoiler free thoughts on the movie, but I will be making another video on my spoiler thoughts because there's so much I want to say about this movie but I'd probably have to give away a couple of stuff here and there. When it came to Mortal Kombat as a property, I am a fan of it. I wouldn't say I live, breathe, and die by Mortal Kombat, but every time a new video game came out, I was like, oh, gotta get me that, gotta play through it, and then sit happily for the next game. My favorite one that ever came out, laugh at me all you want, is still gonna be Mortal Kombat vs. DC. And now after watching the rebooted movie, I have to say, Thank freaking goodness I had some pre-knowledge of this world before seeing the film because this is definitely for the fans, okay? If you are someone who is even in the know of Mortal Kombat, knows a little bit of the origins of all these characters, Raiden, Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, you are gonna enjoy this movie so much more and get a real kick out of it because it is fan service galore in this film. They are saying the famous catchphrases of finish him, fatality. Even throwing in the words flaw all this victory so casually like yeah that's how we speak. It didn't even just come down to the catchphrases or some of the mannerisms of the characters. Like, they literally brought in signature moves from the video games and put them to the screen. Like, that's literally what I would call a live action adaptation right here. And as a fan and knower of the world, that just kind of gets you a little giddy inside. It's like, oh my god, they actually paid attention to things that happen in the video game. But on the flip side of that, if you're someone who has basically no knowledge of Mortal Kombat and are not very familiar with these characters, I wouldn't be surprised if this movie just really doesn't do it for you because the film is not super friendly to people who have never played a Mortal Kombat video game. There is literally a lot going on here and I know there's going to be fans of Mortal Kombat that are going to be mad at me for saying that but when you watch this movie think about if you knew nothing about Mortal Kombat and how these characters are being presented to you you would get pretty lost and think oh, oh my god there's a guy with ice powers what now there's a guy with fire powers. there's a guy with four arms lightning he can fight he can't fight what is going on here it made all the more sense why they chose the route to introduce a brand new character that was never part of the video games that is Cole Young played by Louis Tan who you know what was gonna be the thing that made or break this movie for non-fans or fans of Mortal Kombat, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it that Cole Young is a welcome addition in this Mortal Kombat movie. The guy earns his place in the film, and I'm kinda happy if he's gonna be the lead of this franchise. It's pretty obvious from the trailers and when you're watching the movie where his connection into the world of Mortal Kombat comes from, but even aside from that, he's just your typical underdog fighter with a heart of gold that you really start to root for in the movie, and I think that's a big deal to accomplish here, especially from this first time director Simon McQuaid. While I will say the movie does suffer a lot from pacing and the way they decide to spend certain time on certain character backstory and filling out origins of certain characters so that they can be fully fledged Mortal Kombat fighters. The man did not hold back when it came to the rated R bloody gore in this movie that heck even if you're not a fan of Mortal Kombat and you just like some good old fashioned rated R blood in your face this movie is gonna bring it to you because there are some sequences in here that could make some people sick to their stomach that I was just cheering on because that's exactly the kind of stuff we get in a Mortal Kombat game. Other standout characters and Cole Young, the main lead here, I thought for sure Kano really stole the show. Josh Lawson, who plays Kano in this movie, was absolutely hilarious. He comes off as the comedic relief while also being the douchebag of the team. They have to band together to get ready for this tournament and fight against other realms for the sake of their world. And this guy just did not stop talking, but almost every sentence out of his mouth got me laughing. I think Kano's gonna be a lot of people's new favor coming out of this movie. But really, all the other plethora of characters that are introduced here, I think do resemble their video video game counterparts, especially Liu Kang as the Boy Scout, the good little pupil student who's been training as hard as he can to be part of this tournament. Kung Lao, my god, the stuff that happens with him. Real surprising and well done. One of my personal favorites, Jax, also done to justice with them metal arms, but also how threatening and big of a villain they 
may make Sub-Zero in this movie. The dude basically comes off like a T-800 Terminator going after these people so that they can't be part of the tournament. Every time Sub-Zero is in a room alone with a character, you fear for what is going to happen to them because this guy shows no mercy. You can obviously tell as a fanboy of Mortal Kombat, I really did have a good time in this movie, but I'm not going to be surprised at the amount of people who are just going to come out feeling a little flat from this film because it does take an interesting direction for this movie. For one, I really wouldn't call this a spoiler. If anything, I would like to say this to people because I know it would have made me enjoy the movie a whole lot more. I'm just going to tell it for you so that maybe you get some more enjoyment out of this movie. Do not expect a tournament to happen in this film. I feel like if I knew that going into the movie, I would have already been having some more enjoyment of the film. But basically, since they're trying to start this whole thing up as a franchise, this movie is definitely laying down the base, the groundwork needed to hopefully make three or four more movies. I mean, there's been already actors coming out and saying that they're signed on for four films, meaning that they have an idea for four movies of this Mortal Kombat world. So don't expect a tournament going in here. Expect this to be the laying groundwork of this world, setting up all the realms, why there's forearm beasts, why there's guys with fire powers, how regular humans can even compete with guys with forearms and giant piranha teeth faces. I think as bad and messy as some of the development in this movie was, it really does still set up for a much better future for this franchise because I think you did all the hard stuff you needed to right here out the gate with this first movie that it's all rewards, it's all gold from here on out. You've set up already what kind of monsters, powers, and creatures are in this world. In the next movie, you don't need to worry about 20 different characters' backstories because you already did that. You just need to worry about maybe two or three other new characters that you introduce and continue on from there. That's just the kind of world we live in with these blockbuster movies. It's really a setup to continue on and I have no problem with that. So for the Mortal Kombat movie, I'm going to give action four stars. The hand-to-hand -hand combat in here is really well choreographed. And once you throw in actual blood and guts being thrown at your face without them holding back, as a fan of that stuff, it really enhances it for me. Comedy in the movie, I'm going to give it three stars. And that really all goes to Kano's character here. The man was absolutely hilarious and stole the show every time he's on screen. Drama in the film, I'm going to give it three stars. I was really hoping to give it more because the Mortal Kombat world is filled with such rich worlds, characters, and story plots you could have brought up, but everything was just so cut short and fast-paced thrown at you that as a viewer, you didn't have time to process it or even understand the rules of this world. Hard in the film, I'm gonna give it two stars, and that's really because the blood and guts goes hard in this movie, so if you're someone queasy or can't handle that or want to take a young one that might not be able to process that kind of stuff on screen, just be wary of that. Suspense the film, I am gonna give it three stars because I am attached to these characters being a fan of the video games, but that's suspense might be lower for people who aren't connected to these Mortal Kombat characters because sadly the movie doesn't do enough to emotionally connect you with them. Casual fans, I'm going to give it a B minus. Cinephiles, I'm going to give it a B plus. And critically, I'm going to give it a C minus. If everything in the world was still normal, the Mortal Kombat to me would definitely be one you go out and watch in theaters. The movie had a tough enough job as it is introducing so many characters and backstories. It's a surprise it was even as entertaining and well done as it is. But like I said, it does have those flaws. It does suffer from that messy groundwork of fitting in all these people together. It's not a perfect movie at all, but damn, is it enjoyable and gory as hell. And I just love that. Come back to the channel for the spoiler review and talking about that ending though that, oh, <laughs> chills, man. Also, let me know if you're going to watch it in theaters or on HBO Max. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.